Love that Mardi Gras mask. That's very yeah. Cool. It reminded me of an event that I did in Milano. So there you go, carnival. Yes, <laughs> it's really pretty too. Actually, <laughs> thank you. I told Whitney I didn't need to dress up. This is my demographic already. Uh, <laughs> Just got pearls with my, with my tracksuit. Hey, love, love that, love that Tucson behind you. That's great. I matched Aww. this. I matched the scenery. I did want to wear my little green visor, but mine got bended in the mail, and it looked really. Oh no! Yeah, Whitney, no. where's yours? Huh? I, it didn't get there on time. No, yeah. it's it not here. Thank you for the it, green it was, visor. I love it. Thank it was bent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's got a striking wig as well. Fantastic. Who is that with the wig? I thought that was Kelly Mack. Who is it? It's Kelly, right? Yeah. yeah. Kathy? Oh, hey, Bridget. Let me see you again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who is it with the wig? Can we see that person, please? Kelly, Kathy, whoever it is. It's, uh, it's Kelly, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Kelly. Kelly. Oh. Ah. Nice. Oh, look, we've already got 24 people. Some of y'all are on time. Let's... Hi. There Hi. she is. <laughs> there she is. Who are these sweet ladies that are keeping you company? These are my bingo bitches. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. Oh, they're adorable. I, start, I was going to look for some cute people like that, but I feel <laughs> obligated to support my hotel partner. So I'm in Tucson today. Oh, I love <laughs> Tucson. Tucson's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have my tracksuit and my pearls, and I'm ready for bingo. <laughs> hey, Hello. Hello. I tried to dress up a little bit. And I don't know if anybody notices that that hat. Little hat. <laughs> well, it's the old Maui Jim. Jim hat, yep. Yes. Oh. I used to have a hat like that. What happened There's to like, it? Yeah, a little fringe on the hula girl. Yeah, a little hula girl. <laughs> That's a little old crazy. school. They don't make those anymore. No, we are trying to suck up to you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they better come dressed. Evan, I like the tape on the bridge of your glasses. That's a nice well, thank time. you. I had to get a little extra tape <laughs> in the collar. So. <laughs> Are your glasses broken, or was that just a little bit of extra detail on your costuming? That was a little extra detail on my costume. <laughs> Noted. Very, very well done. But I love the face. I love these two women, though. They're hilarious. Yeah, they that's are. Good. Now, if she if gets them to that talk, love and romance be can't be found as older people. There you have it. Evidence it's out there waiting for you. Well, if she can make them talk, that's impressive. <laughs> well, if anybody can make them talk, she can. That's for sure. <laughs> I have to show you my T-shirt. Okay. Wait, wait, read it to us. Get over for the cameras. I'm trying. I've had balls and balls keep, keep the ladies bingo that is amazing that is amazing oh my god you all so crack me up good <laughs> Hey everybody, mm -hmm. Laurel here. I don't have anything up to date because I got into poison ivy. And so I just look like an old grandma with psoriasis <laughs> <laughs> on my screen today. We'd love to see a little of your psoriatic skin. We're going to pass. <laughs> don't, be a oh. don't be a coward. <laughs> uh, oh. I love it. It's funny. Oh, Very good. So what's the mask? Is that uh, who's the mask bandit there? It's Emma. Uh -huh. And it's and what, uh, coming off of Mardi I, Gras. No, <laughs> I did an event in Milano, uh, a welcome event, and that was the mask that we gave um, when the guests arrived. So I just want to remember that that was two years ago. <laughs> Very nice. Bridget, you've got on a cute little uh, headband outfit. What's that all about? That's adorable. You're too oh, cute these, to be a granny. No, these were all my grandmother's things. Really? So her okay. little purse. Oh, wow. And this is a blouse of hers. And, yeah. uh, and a scarf. Oh, wow. This is not her hair, though. This is, no. this is 
<laughs> I'm actually, I, I just want to tell y'all, and I can laugh about it. I was eight years old. My grandmother, who had hair the color of my jacket, died playing bingo. Oh, oh my God. Playing bingo. Wow. And, you know, she was too young to die. She was 64. Oh, so that's wow. much younger than I am now. But she died doing what she loved. So this session is all is for her. We're going to dedicate oh, wow. it to our grandmothers oh, wow. today. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to Bridget. <laughs> no doubt. Can you guys hear me talking? I'm Carol. Yes. Carol Hammond. Yeah. Uh, you're, okay, you could, great. Great. Turn, turn your turn your sound up a little bit. You're a little soft. We can yeah, hear you. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna work on that. What Aaron's got. <laughs> I had right. this who, else, who else wants to make their efforts known to the judges? Uh, I'm, I'm liking you, Anne. Thank you. What you got? <laughs> oh, Anne, yeah, that's great. Tell, tell, I mean, that. I guess the granny gown and the rollers are kind of self-explanatory, but. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my I'm, goodness. <laughs> I'm on the way to the music club to play video. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have the winning number there. I don't know exactly how you highlight yourself, but I, I had to do the tiara and the robe myself, so that was mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Tiara's good. Most old ladies are princesses. They earned exactly. it, though. Exactly. <laughs> We're probably doing it at the, uh, uh, at the little gathering room down, my, down the hall, so, you know, we're coming our robes. Of course. Did y'all notice that, I don't know if you guys really go down the rabbit hole that is Whitney's weekly flyers, but uh, this week we could learn about the history of house coats. Yes. And who knew that they had a history, but they do. They used to be a fashion statement. Really? <laughs> go back to your flyers, study up. Yeah. Oh. I wish I would have had mine. My grandmother, if she had one, she had 50. And I wish okay. that I was closer. Yeah. To they me. snap up and they were really ugly material. Yes. But as a kid, I would put them on and run, just do the top one and run around like I was Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ones that Whitney put in the flyer were quite glamorous. I would consider those lingerie, not house coats. Uh, <laughs> I would agree. I definitely. Yeah, we're going to give those a positive spin, right? My grandmother always had her Kleenex John has a heart shoved attack. down the sleeve of her. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 So cool. That was a nice fashion statement. Yeah. <laughs> My virtual background is from the Lowe's Santa Monica. Oh, let's see, Connie. Uh, <laughs> nice. Love nice of you. Connie. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Hey, right, Carol? Well, yes, ma'am. All right, here's my, <laughs> my song. All right, Kimberly, talk, talk. No, wait, 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 I gotta put you full screen. Kimberly, tell us what you got. Okay, I don't know if I can do it or not, but I got a lot. Okay, <laughs> there's no time limit, you just go ahead. All right, ah, I don't know if I can do this, but uh, I'll send you a picture, but let me just show you here. All right, you've, you've aged 20 years just in the last week. I know. So. <laughs> I got all my jewelry because I'm yes. lucky granny. Wow. I've got all my jewels. I've got my socks, my house shoes. <laughs> I have my assortment of 15 canes. <laughs> right here. Where did you get those? Where'd you get all those? I've been she collecting died. them for years. Oh, my then I've got my knitting. <laughs> and what the heck? My pills, oh, my, my estrogen, fresh and age, knits. On a silver tray, though, I have class. Of course, you are Kimberly Bean. We don't want to leave anybody, let anybody down. So, that's what I got going on. Well, honey, <laughs> I, on the one hand, I want to congratulate you because that is a wonderful presentation, and several of you have beautiful tableaus. Uh, however, because we are paying, playing for actual travel packages today, um, Kelly McAllister has uh, agreed to come on for the award that goes to our first five. So our first five after 5.55, which Whitney's about to text me so I can announce them, um, are going to receive a pair of Maui Jim reading sunglasses. Wow. Wow. Maui Jim wow. reading sunglasses to the oh, first Lord. five after uh, 355. So well, in honor of the theme, we decided oh, everyone needed the theme. cheaters. 
Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Whitney will send me that list and we will announce that later. But let's go ahead and get started, Whit. Wait a minute, I got to go over what I've got. All right, all right. My uh, shirt was not <laughs> <in it. laughs> okay, now. okay. I brought my bingo bag with all my daubers. Oh, <laughs> Everybody have their daubers ready. Now, this thing will double. It'll hold you a couple of tall boys. Because uh, <laughs> church cost a dollar to get you a beer. Okay, that's just too much. And then the last time we were together, we all got some yeah, of these no, I mean, hooch bottles. Yeah, I don't want to share anything with her. So I have my hooch. Now, as Kelly knows, what does this double as? This is an RFP bag, baby. <laughs> They're kind of smushed under my beers, okay? Okay, oh, they're smushed Lord. under my beard. But I do have my dog bag. Hopes and dreams. I brought, this is my daytime medicine, and this is my nighttime medicine. Oh, you, can, can, you and Julie are tied, I gotta say. For luck, I went and got me a bingo scratcher, and I won $10 <laughs> today. Just saying, just saying. Got this great shirt, What a Women Love, 75 balls and screaming bingo. <laughs> I have on my Jesus now, this is the Jesus of, he's my bunco Jesus, but it's okay. And I carry a little whistle on here. So if it gets too loud and I can't scream bingo, I got my rosary beads, got my extra dauber, and I may be calling later on tonight. So I've got my, I've got my ball cage. So, and as far as slippers, I'm not a fan of slippers. I prefer these cozy, cozy <laughs> So y'all go on now. Let's go. Oh my God, Kathy, I just want to say this. If this hospitality thing doesn't work out, you could get a job in improv. For sure. <laughs> got all yeah, I was telling my girlfriend yesterday, I, I pre-prepped all my salads for the week. <laughs> and I was so hungry yesterday after water aerobics. The first one was so good, I just ate till Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, you guys. You know, I do send all of our future hotel presenters to this website to enjoy the hilarity so that we can share the joy. And every week you never let me down. It just gets better and better. So uh, when I try to make the case that we're different from everybody else, I think I have to send them to this recording to really demonstrate the truth of that. Oh, so um, I'm gonna get ahead of Whitney just a little bit by announcing that, thank you, Kelly Mack. We will, uh, I will ask the, these five people to please put your email addresses in the chat box for Kelly. Kelly, can this be done with coupons or do you wanna actually physically send these glasses? Um, I'll need to get like people's address. <laughs> ad power. So send it to me. <laughs> their, ad, their addresses, right? All right, so the following first five after 355, thank you for coming in on time, but not too early. Uh, those would be Lindy Long, Bridget O'Connell, <clears throat> Amy Banks, Christine Birmingham and Petrina Lawrence. So thank you guys. You've got Very yourselves good. a pair of Maui Gym readers for outside. So if you will, um, if you all five will email me your, your addresses, okay? Just email me, make sure we have it and I'll get those to Kelly, all right? And welcome, uh, welcome. This is hilarity. It's like Kathy West, it's like, following Robin Williams on stage. I, I just don't know what to <laughs> say to follow your act, but um, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, we wanna welcome some new people today and um, just kind of find out where you are. This is fun to look around and see uh, Samantha Williams, John Cyrilowski, Cyrilowski, did I do very it? Good, very good, very <laughs> good. Uh, Clayton, North Carolina, Clayton. Right, outside, right outside of Raleigh. Great. And who do you work with? I work with Patty. I'm Patty's oh. uh, young associate. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. John, hi. He, uh, how are you? Good. <laughs> He's my left it's hand, to, my right hand, my everything. Yes. It's oh, great I to know. put a face to a name. Wow. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Samantha Williams, I'm going to say hi. I know when Samantha's, she's muted right now. She may not be listening. Heidi Rowland. Hi, Heidi. 
Hi. Thanks for being with us. Who are you with? Hi, guys. Hey, I'm from hey. Epley in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, hey. Hi. Hi. Good to see, see you. Again. Wonderful. Uh, who else? Jill. Jill Goldfine. Hi. Well, you got in. Yes, hi. <laughs> Glad to be here. Good. Hey, Jill. Good. Nice to see you. You too. Welcome. Yeah, Jill, who are you with? Oh, the National Automobile Dealers Association. I work with Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Oh, wonderful. Hi. Hey, Jill Goldfine. Welcome. And you hi. should say hi, hi to Petrina. Petrina. Oh, sorry. Just by a show of hands, who who is here uh, with Patty and and Aaron's on their list? On their team. On their yeah. Oh, great, wonderful. Well, there are quite a few of you, so thank you. We're not going to um, say hello to everyone, but you are welcome, and we we appreciate your being here today. And this is kind of what we do every week, and uh, today is no exception. Um, it gets it gets pretty funny. It gets pretty crazy. And as much as anything, we just try to set the tone so for, to the uh, first. for the meeting and for the, the place that we're going to. Um, so we just ask if you would keep yourselves muted uh, unless you're speaking. And that's just because we're recording it and it's a presentation and you all kind of know the protocols by now. And uh, if you have any questions for Patty or Aaron while they're doing their thing, please put them in the chat box and I will be the moderator and make sure that they answer those uh, a little later on in the call. First of all, does everybody have their bingo cards ready? No. Okay. okay. If, you, uh, if you don't have them, then go ahead and um, figure that out. You can use that link and you can play online or you can download them and use your daughter, as Kathy says. I didn't even know what that was, but... Um, uh, you can figure that out yourselves, and now's now's the time to do that. And I will turn it over to Carol. You're turning it over to me, and I've already done my thing. Um, welcome, everybody. Wanted to add my voice to Whitney's. Um, kind of disappointed she didn't dig out her granny outfits because she assures me she has the wigs and the house coats. But uh, I would just love to thank all of you that got into the spirit this week. We knew we would have some fun with this theme, and you guys did not disappoint me. Uh, so without further ado, I want to turn the stage over to our mid-Atlantic salesperson friend for Lowe's Hotels, Mr. Aaron Mayo, who is looking really particularly color-coordinated today between the colorful jacket and his green visor. And then our dear friend, Patty Metcalf, who is a living, walking example of someone I didn't recognize because <laughs> of her get up. Everybody kept saying, hi, Kelly. And I'm like, this must be Kelly McAllister. She really went off this week. No. I think I look good blonde. I think I like it. Blondes. She's going to let us know if blondes do indeed have more fun. <laughs> so we want to thank you both, Karen, uh, both Patty and Erin for, for supporting us and for helping to help us grow our community. We, we know that there are probably a dozen new people that registered today because of you guys and we hope that all of them will be back and um, saying thank you for that support and we're happy to learn about everything that's going on new at Lowe's and also to play a little bingo for fun and prizes. All right. All Make right. Um, hey Whitney, will you let me uh, share my screen? Well, first, first off, I have to say one thing. I have to say thank you to my friend Carol and to Whitney, because this has been a rough ride, to say the least. And um, I was furloughed for almost three months. And I have to say, um, Carol and Whitney kept me connected the whole time. And I still felt like I was home with my friends and my family. So thank you to both of you, because you'll never know how much that means to me, ever. Thank you. So, and talking about speaking of family let's see here i think i got it this time whitney i'm not sure okay why isn't it doing there we go can you guys see you can my screen okay so our 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 new brand campaign is welcoming you like family and that's what carol and whitney do every day they welcome everybody like family and we hope that you feel that way with lowe's hotels um, I've been with Lowe's Hotels for 14 years, and it is my family. Um, I think Aaron's been with Lowe's for about six years, seven, 
seven Eight, years. Maybe. Somewhere in there. Um, and we also have a, a few other se sellers online right now. We have Ashley with the Chicago Hair, Chicago downtown in Minneapolis. And we also have Danita Young, and she represents uh, Lowe's Coronado, uh, Lowe's Hollywood, and Tucson. So they're going to, hopefully we'll get to see them pop in and out. Let me see here. Um, they're both on. I saw them. I saw them, buddy. Okay. Okay. So as of August 19th, these are the hotels that are currently open in our portfolio. Um, but I have to take my sunglasses off because I can't see because my friend Whitney told me to change it to yellow and it didn't work. So, um, <laughs> so we have, um, can't see them. Hold on, let me get my readers. Maybe I'll be able to see them, but I'm sure that you guys can see them as well. So Chicago, Hair, Downtown, Seattle, Santa Monica, um, our Arlington Hotel, Kansas City, Miami, Vanderbilt, Ventana, Coronado, Fisha, um, Minneapolis, Universal, a few of our hotels in Universal, Lowe's Philadelphia and Atlanta. So still to open is our Lowe's Hollywood out in um, Los Angeles, uh, the Regency in New York, and a few of our hotels in Orlando. So what I'm going to try to do here is the links are not working. Howdy, go to uh, make go to um, view slideshow. Okay. There you go. I think it's oh. going to work for you. There you go. Yeah. There, oh, there we go. So if it's Technology. okay with you guys, thank you, Aaron Mayo. Working for you, baby. So, <laughs> so um, if it's okay with you guys, we're going to show a couple videos real quick. Um, first, we'll start with Chicago O'Hare. And I hope that I did what my friend Whitney told me to do um, prior. It should launch like your Internet Explorer or your web browser, Patty. Maybe you may have to look outside of uh, outside of Zoom. While you're doing that, Patty, um, I'm going to put the link to the bingo card, everyone, in the chat box because I've had a couple of you uh, message me. So if you need to go ahead and do that, here's the link. All right. Thanks, Whitney. Sure. Cindy, I'm watching the chat box, and if you, this is Kelly with Maui Jim, if you, you hear um, it, oh, no, we didn't hear it, Patty. You can't hear it? You know what? Let me, let me do something here. Did you share the audio from your computer? Well, that stinks. That's okay. Try it again. And uh, be sure to click that thing in the bottom left corner that says share computer audio. Mm Do you just want to do you just want to talk us through this rather than wait for the video to figure the video out? Uh, 
Connie Bergeron. We are seeing your screen for some reason. <laughs> Let's the email. What interesting as that is, Connie. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> well, I don't know what I did. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I was mentally walking through Patty's steps and I accidentally clicked. So sorry. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, Carol. <laughs> Thanks for the assistance, though, darling. You know, you Whitney, know what? can you... Whitney, can you kick it over to me? I've got them queued up on my on my side. Maybe I can I could we could try that real quick. And if not, we'll just in, we'll introduce Ashley, and she can tell us about Chicago and Geneva can catch yes. us up. Aaron, you can share your screen right now. Okay. The blondes may have more fun. They're just not technically inclined. Can <laughs> <laughs> you to stop? It kept going in my ear, and I'm like. I can't hear anything except for the video. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's good. Can, okay. can you guys see that? All you have to do is sit there and look pretty, Patty. Thank Let Aaron do the work. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Hey, can everyone see the, the skyline of Chicago? Is that? No. Oh, no. We no. Nothing. You see, you see me. OK. And you're beautiful, you know, too. We're having a hard time, Patty. We're striking out. I know. Um, we're having a real hard time with this. OK. <laughs> uh, there it goes. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Hot damn. Yay. It's a, it's a Wednesday Girl. miracle. So let me let me introduce again uh, Ashley Pinheiro. Ashley represents our both our Chicago hotels, our downtown Chicago, uh, and our Lowe's Minneapolis. So Ashley, um, I'm going to let the video run. I'm not going to make any promises about sound. I'm going to I'm going to take my wins that I can get them. The fact that the video is working is my win. I'm going to take that. Um, and Ashley, if you want to provide some, some commentary after and kind of catch us up on what's new, that'd be great. Sure. Here we go. So it's about 90 seconds, guys. We're not going to kill ourselves with anything crazy here. But if you do have headphones in, Aaron, I recommend taking them out so we can have sound. There you go. Well, right. yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Ashley Pinheiro. And as Aaron and Patty had mentioned, I represent not only Lowe's O'Hare, which that was just a little snippet of our property there, uh, but also Lowe's Chicago in downtown and um, Minneapolis. But thank you for having us today and letting us join in your homes um, and be part of your family for this call. Um, I too have been with Lowe's for quite some time. I forget the amount of years now, too many to count, but I'm still happy to be here. Um, and thank you for keeping, keeping us um, in your thoughts for future events. Um, our properties are holding events uh, right now as we speak, which is a great thing to hear. Um, we've been doing up to 50 people um, at Lowe's O'Hare and some small events in downtown as well. And then we've been seeing some sports, which have been coming back out in Minneapolis. So um, we have been, as you know, I'm sure Lowe's has shared, if not, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, we do have documents on our current safety protocols and guidelines that we are adhering to at each of the properties. Um, but all has been successful so far, um, you know, easy in and out with, with flights to O'Hare, um, downtown is starting to reopen up as well. So you're starting to see that city become alive again, which is very nice. The summer months are always a fun time, especially in downtown. So a lot going on there, Minneapolis, same. Um, but really, truly, we're 
we're just excited to be open and can um, have future business coming our way. Uh, so if anything you need for the Chicago or Northern Midwest, um, I'm your girl and uh, certainly an extension of Patty and Erin. So happy to assist in any way that I can. If you have any questions as to what we are doing, um, what new things we're seeing, please don't hesitate to reach out. I know everything's kind of changing right now, day by day, and even sometimes by the hour. So uh, we're certainly open to thinking out of the box and doing things in a, uh, in a different light. Um, but we are excited to see people meeting face to face again, which it sounds like in looking at the group chat that there are some going on now. So that is all exciting, all exciting things happening. And hopefully we'll start to see some brighter days ahead and some bigger events taking place. So thank you again for letting us be here. And if I can be of any of assistance, please just let me know. Ashley, thanks for joining this uh, fun group of folks. I haven't been around as much as Patty. I, I went to my first, uh, first showcase last year in the fall and, and I'm getting just Carol and Whitney were so kind and the community was so kind to welcome me so I'm trying to get my get get to myself to the point of veteran status but I'm not there yet yeah I'm. <laughs> I, I hear you I actually started working with Patty at just a little maybe a year and a half ago on the southeast so I didn't get a chance to do a lot of traveling yet so I look forward to meeting you all hopefully I need to get I need to really get going because th this is a fun group and I can see it. And I can't wait till we can all have cocktails together and not through the, through the uh, computer here, but I want to see everybody in their, their get up. So uh, in person. Well, thanks Ashley. Um, I will. Um, there I see, there's Danita. Hey, Danita Young Carrick, how are you? I am fabulous. How are you all doing? We are doing above average. I'll speak for the collective above group. Average. It's not, it's, not, it's not the best day. It's not the worst. Maybe it is the best day for some people, and that's great. Um, we love it. Um, okay. okay. Nita, you wanted me to show Tucson, correct? I would love for you to show Tucson. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to try the share screen thing again. Um, and oh, you boy. guys, I know, right? You guys tell <laughs> Hold you your guys breath. Tell, that's dangerous. Hold your breath. Um, you guys tell me when you see the word, the big word Tucson in a, in a backdrop of the Catalina Mountains. Yes. How many screens do you have? Because you're looking like at four of them. <laughs> I have two. Okay. Do you see Tucson? Nope. Not yep. yet. Okay. Well, while Aaron does this ping pong um, match <laughs> between <Aaron>. screens. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Working on it. Uh, I'll do a little, you know, preface it to our lovely Lowe's Ventana Canyon Resort. Um, one thing about Tucson, we are definitely hosting meetings. So anything, like if a ballroom holds a thousand people, you can hold up to 50%. So we are definitely um, hosting meetings right now, keeping our Lowe's standard guidelines in place. And a lot of groups right now are actually calling and asking to move their meetings outside. So with the video, you'll be able to see how much outside space Lowe's Montana Canyon has. Got it, Erin. Got me? Jeez, look at it. Okay. It it's, it, that was, Nina, thanks for, thanks for filling me in on the dead air there. I appreciate that. I'm going to fully admit that was actually user error. I had the screen all set up, but didn't click the button that said share screen. So that's actually on me. I'm going to own that. I'm going to, I'm going to own that in front of the community today. Um, but that's okay. So, Danita, I'm going to try to do some sound for you. Right. And... My friend, it is a Wednesday miracle. Here we go.
That's my room. It's hard not to love that. All righty. Outstanding. Outstanding. Oh, oh let's play it again. No, no, nope, no. Nope, nope. We're done with that. We did it once. We're not gonna. We're not gonna press. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna. Not gonna press the luck. We did. Not gonna, so, press, we did it not gonna press the luck. <laughs> Yeah, so no, our Lowe's Montana Canyon Resort, like I said, up and running, booking meetings, definitely hosting meetings, at least up to 50% of our occupancy in the meeting space. Um, but I also represent our Lowe's Hollywood and our Lowe's Coronado is where I do sit. I do sit here in San Diego. And just an FYI, I do work East Coast time. So 6 a.m., you want to call me? I mean, 9 a.m. your time, 6 a.m. my time. <laughs> I'm up. I've had at least three cups of coffee, so I'm good to go. Um, usually around four o'clock my time, I am crashing. So, <laughs> but I am still here. But with our Lowe's Hollywood, our Lowe's Hollywood is still one of the hotels that is not open yet. However, they are doing a $100 million renovation at the Hollywood and Highland um, Center that is, that is attached to Lowe's Hollywood. And that's actually gonna start in October. So during this time, they're going to go through a $100 million renovation. Um, it's going to be amazing. And then for those who have put out RFPs for Hollywood in February and always gets turned down due to the Oscars, note that the Oscars will be in April this year. So if you want February dates in Hollywood, they're open and ready to go. Um, again, Hollywood has its wonderful 25,000 square foot ballroom that has natural lighting. Um, so that's amazing. And then, of course, Ventana Canyon, again, hosting meetings, outdoor meetings are really popular. Um, and so that does bring you to Coronado in San Diego, where we need you out outdoors. You know, 75, 72, actually it's 80 degrees today. I won't tell you that's hot for us, but it is. I have my fan <laughs> on, so if you hear it too much, let me know. Um, but we have a lot of great uh, outdoor function space as well. Cause I know a lot of people are asking for that outdoor. And I saw in the chat that someone's asking that if we're basing our space based on um, social distancing, I like to call it physical distancing cause I don't like to be social distance, but I don't mind elbow room. So physical distance, we are definitely doing it based on strict guidelines as well as relaxed guidelines. So instead of four per six per one per six, like uh, one per four. Um, but I am super excited to say that San Diego is the very first county to get off the governor's watch list in California. So we're doing something right. Um, we've taken masks to another level. It is definitely fashion statements with our masks. So here, masks. Let's get it going. That's all I got. Let's play some bingo. Thanks, Danita. <laughs> One thing that uh, Danita hit on it, but we just came out with a piece, I think last week, right, Patty? The, uh, we have a nice little one sheet PDF of all of our, our larger meeting hotels with significant, uh, with significant meeting space that have uh, traditional sets, your, your social distancing, physical distancing now at a six foot distance, and then also what we're calling a moderate set at a three foot. So if anyone is interested in having a piece like that, I could send it to you. It's just a one sheet PDF that kind of gives you a quick snapshot if you're looking at the balance of our portfolio um to how uh things fit patty do you want to jump to the next um do you want to take the screen back no we're going to skip that we're going to <laughs> no go. you you're more than welcome to take that you can put, put right, the next okay. piece up and i'll be more than happy to walk through a couple more things with this group so we can okay. start having fun because it's it's 4.30 and we want to start winning uh, two nights. We got a bingo. Yeah, okay. we got to play bingo. We got a bingo. So, so we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to call it death by PowerPoint and, and, and not go <laughs> back to that. And that's fine. Okay. That's fine. So a couple of things just briefly, I'm just going to highlight uh, verbally <laughs> without, without, a, without a visual. Um, for groups that have, for anyone that has short-term meeting business, right? We have accelerated contract terms and from booking from now until uh, March of 2021, if your meeting value is less than $50,000, we can offer no attrition contracts, uh, cancellation up until 14 days out. We wanna remove whatever barriers we can to, um, to respect all kinds of groups with different business needs um, into booking our hotels. And certainly if you're 
you know, we're smart about it too. If you're, if your meeting is in, in uh, April, we'll look at that. If your meeting is $60,000 instead of 50, we'll look at that too. We really want to work on delivering uh, experience that, that works for both, certainly for the hotels and for your clients. Uh, another couple of things, I can certainly send these things out. We do have group promotions. We, you know, we don't want, we're trying really hard just to do what, what Carol and Whitney do so well, which is building community these days. Now, everyone loves to be seen, do something fun. No one wants to be slammed with a bunch of sales and marketing pieces and all that kind of stuff. And we have that. We have promotions that are there. If anyone's interested, Patty and I have those. Um, one is called Lowe's Legacy. It's built on a 3% rebate for rebooking a, a, a piece of business. You've had it at a Lowe's hotel, rebooking it within 90 days of departure. Another is called Gather More. Um, and it's based on uh, adding anywhere from 2 to 5% um, rebates back to master accounts, depending on the size of, of uh, meetings that you book a number of meetings. So up to 5% rebate. What's nice about both those promotions is that they're targeted to, um, to consume by the end, by the end of 2023. So uh, longer runway, so to speak, uh, used to use an aviation term. I used to fly for work back in the day. None of us do anymore. <laughs> so. um, but that's just a couple of things for those that need them. Right. So I don't, I don't want, we won't flash all those things and then do a big, do a big piece about that. And the last thing I'll highlight briefly, I, I can see Patty giving me the wink behind her sunglasses. Um, we launched our new brand campaign it's called Welcoming You Like Family. Um, you know, our brand for Lowe's has always been built around partnership, family, family heritage, authentically distinct, unique hotels, culinary diversity. Um, it's kind of funny, we were rolling out this campaign, started to rolling out um, at the end of 2019, delayed it for a little bit. Uh, it ended up the timing worked out well just organically here. So it's built on just delivering a, a feeling of familiarity and comfort at our hotels. For those of you on the call that have been to our properties, you know their distinction and locations that that we are, um, that we're in the hotels. There's by no means to use a cliche term, by no means are we cookie cutter. They really are diverse and distinct properties. One of my favorites being the one over one over Carol's shoulder in Ventana Canyon. As a semi crappy golfer, I've spent some time there. Um but that's it. So no more PowerPoint. PowerPoint dead. Um, <laughs> oh, Danita, Danita Ashley, Patty, anything that I need to add back in? I'm glad we got the videos to work. I'll take responsibility for not click, clicking the share button again on me. Um, what have I missed? Anything we need to highlight before we jump into ye old bingo? No, no so go ahead. Danita. Sorry, I was just going to say just there was a question on food and beverage. What does it look like for conferences? In oh, the, okay. In too. the group thing there. So I just wanted to touch on that and just like kind of, I guess, bring it up in discussion here. I think it, it right now it, for us in Chicago and Minneapolis, it, it, it changes based on the size of the group, what the group needs are. So we're really being flexible um, because majority of the events for us at our three properties have been plated or prepackaged, pre-ordered. Um, but we are open to buffet options, uh, and you know, and again, in a different light, it would be behind plexiglass, and there'd be different um, safety protocols that would be in place for those types of options. But just wanted to say that. And I don't know if Patty, Aaron, if you guys have had for other properties what that looks like. Well, we we definitely have a piece that Universal put out at our Universal uh, resorts, and it definitely shows you know the server behind the plexiglass. Um, and having the attendees on the other side and the attendees telling the server what they would like. Same with coffee um, and tea or any kind of beverages. We have a server in place and they will pour the coffee. They'll put the sugar in for you, the milk and everything, and then place it on um, an area where then the client would then take it from there. So, you know, and I can send that to anybody, whoever would like to see that. It's a, it's a one pager and it's wonderful. And I, I saw it firsthand. I, I did a, a site at Universal and it was pretty amazing what they did, so. Uh, Patty and Aaron, um, it, it, I will get you guys the list of the people who are on this call. And if you wouldn't mind sharing that information along with the one sheeter, Aaron, that you mentioned, um, and we'll just send that out to everybody so you'll, okay. you'll have all that. Along with the, Aaron, along with your special you know, deals and things like that going on right now. Sure. Glad okay. to. Glad to. All right. um, and, what, and one quick thing Patty mentioned, just to steer you guys back to a quick asset, and then I promise we'll bingo. It's, I got my calling sheet queued up over here on their side. Um, if you go to loshotels.com on the top banner, you'll see a couple of links. One is safety and well-being protocol. That speaks to 
obviously the cleanliness, the, the partnership that we have with, with AHLA, American Hotel and Lodging Association, and putting out our, our, our stay safe protocols. It does speak to the food and beverage component in there as well. Um, and what, what's neat about us um, being, you know, 28 hotel brand and owner operator is that when we, when we come out of this, um, we're really going to be able to, to change and articulate to our clients' needs, right? Because right now we're telling you guys, hey, here's what we're doing in terms of safety, cleanliness, food and beverage. But in the end, the, the question always should be, well, what do y'all want us to do? And for us to be able to, to move that around and change and update our, our hotels operationally will be um, easier than most um, based on how we're, how we're set up. And then again, on top of that page, you'll see another, another banner. It says hotel operations update that that is the constant running list of what hotels in our brand are open operationally that speaks to uh the death by powerpoint the list that patty had so <laughs> all right that's, that's just there if you need it and it's consistently updated so now i've got my purple shades on my hat okay. is fairly Game. wrapped around my giant head does everyone have um their cards we're going to do rapid fire we want to try to be respectful of the of the five o'clock stop we may go a little bit into ot we'll have to see all right and here's the deal guys with this too I'm going to call out the numbers. Um, there, there should be a code at, at, on your card somewhere. Um, the top right corner, I think it is. And that allows me to, to, to really to fact check you, to bust you if you're cheating. Because I, I plug that code into my little game manager here, and then it, it validates your win. So you can bingo vertically, uh, horizontally, or diagonally, I guess. Okay. Yes. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to let it rip. Uh, N38, N38, I'm going to go kind of quick. If you can't hear me, I will repeat. O69, O69, I24, I24, I really like staying at Lowe's Hotel. O64, O64, oh, how nice, Danita, Patty, and Ashley are. <laughs> o72, O72, O74. O74. And you know, you guys don't even know what the prizes are. So I love, I love the intensity already. Well, the prizes will be announced after the first bingo winner, unless Patty already did. I-19, I-19, O66, O66, B8, B as a boy, 8, B9, 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 O62, O62, B14, B14, G55. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he got to go slower. <laughs> Do we have a winner? Did someone holler out? No? G55, I25, I25, O65, G60. Aaron, would you pause for one second and let's I'd let everybody, yeah, okay. let's let everybody unmute themselves. So that oh, we're getting kind of at the end of the game. So if you do scream it out, you won't be muted. Okay. Oh, uh, Whitney. Mm. Thank you for Whitney's that. I side. need that. I need that. I love to know what kind of looks Patty's giving me behind those sunglasses and put mine back on too. I have a Auto 67. <laughs> hey, Aaron, I have a question. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. For this question, but to clarify, are we going to play two separate games or are we supposed to be doing yes. two games at once? We two are separate. playing two separate games. Yes. I've already messed yeah. up. All right. Okay. Oh, um, I can. Both cards. If you're if you're playing both cards, you know what? If, if you're a winner, you're a winner. I think we'll figure it out later. Um, no, 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 no. A bunch of cards at the same time. I've seen. Yes, Carol. My bingo skills are not very advanced, so in my mind, we are playing two game, one one game, and then the second. So. But if you prefer for everyone else, I don't think. Okay. That's... Okay, that might have been on me. I'll own that with my non-clicking skills earlier. All right, G59. What was the last number before this? Uh, G59. Oh, not restart game. Um, yeah. O62. G46. G46. B11. B11. O75. O75. G51. We got to be getting close. I30. I30. O sixty three. Bingo. Bingo. Who is it? Jim. Yeah. Katrina. I think. I, I don't know. He was going pretty fast. I, I don't know. <laughs> Jim, you know what? Life's a journey. Sometimes it gets a little bit off the road. What give me your uh 
Give me your code. I'll tell if you if you won. Zero two two. Say that again. Mine is, is it zero two two? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, it could be a bingo card ID on there somewhere. Uh -huh. That's your number. Zero two two view card. Awesome. Do you have a vertical bingo down the O column? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Woo. We have a we have a winner. Okay, Patty, would you like to would you like to introduce the prize options and our and our thoughts behind the prize options? Yes, I would. So our options are we're going to give away a two night stay at two of our beautiful luxury hotels, and the reason why we're giving a two night stay is we want our planners to travel. We want you to travel. We want you to see how safe we are, how, how safe we're, to, all the precautions we're taking when you're at Lowe's Hotels, because we want you to feel like you're home because you're family to us. So, Kim, you're the winner. Thank you. You went a, a two night stay at our beautiful Lowe's Vanderbilt, Nashville. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. And so the, the the second part behind, you know, I'll steal Patty's thunder. Maybe she might have been, already, she might be already be thinking it. But you guys are all based, you know. I see some folks in DC, folks in the Carolinas. We're, the thought here was drive market hotels, right? Because that's where we're starting to see business come back into our hotels, leisure business, family weekends, those kinds of things. So that's the intent, of the geographical thought process here. I won't give away the second one, but that's the thought no. process. Okay. Okay. All right. Game number two. Is everyone ready? Yes. How we clean it? How we clear the accounts? Are we resetting our cards? Yeah, move on to your second game card. Yeah. Oh. Can I just clear the card too? Um, I don't have two cards. Yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah, you work. Just gonna start all. Just yeah, just make a circle around a number instead of the instead of the X or something. Sure. Oh, it works. Yeah. Clear. We can get creative. You just you just um, click on reset above each card. Yeah, if you did, thank you, Lindy. Yeah, if you're playing if you're playing online, that should work as well. Okay, here we go. Since I since I went rapid fire through the first game, we'll, we'll slow her down a little bit for the second. We've got 13 minutes left. All right, here we are. N38, N38. O sixty nine, O sixty nine. Actually, hang on one second. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what, guys? Um, act like you didn't hear those first two numbers. I, I had to change the call sequence, so. If I if I if I didn't change that, it's gonna be the exact same numbers as last time. So just we're only two numbers in, so just kind of scratch those off. Bear with me. Bear <laughs> reset. With me. Bear with me. We right, hit call. reset. <laughs> yeah. Hit reset. We're getting a new call sequence. Forget those first two numbers if anyone had them. We're starting over right now. We are clear. Again, user error. I apologize. And is this still a, a straight line or a diagonal line? Yes, indeed. Okay. Yes, indeed. Sam, we're, we're keeping that static. The least I can do is try to keep some consistency. <laughs> thank you. I had um, taken out my hearing aids, so I couldn't. No, thank you. I appreciate that. I've got, <laughs> I've got mine in on, on volume 10,000 here. All right. Call sequence two. New game starting over. All is well. Here we go. N42. N42. N40. N40. N37, N37, B6, B6, N32, N32. We're living in the ends here. G53, G53, N44, N44. I have a big <laughs> But should I count? I don't think I should count. Uh, I love you, Carol. Um, we... <laughs> Carol, I'll send you. I'll send you something. Awesome. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you in your own special way, Carol. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> um, okay. Next call. N thirty-four. N thirty-four. O seventy-four. O seventy-four. 
I30, I30. I wish I could call this bingo game right and not mess it up. G47. I-27, I-27. I-28, I-28. Someone's got some, so if we could remute for a little bit, uh, or someone's got, just got some background noise. I-28, B-14, B-14. G-48, G-48. N-33. N thirty three. Me, G bingo, bingo, bingo. Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right. Oh, Bridget. Bridget, give me, give me your code. Give me your bingo card ID. It is zero six six. Zero six six. Validation in progress. You have a vertical bingo through the N. N. Mm -hmm. it is validated. You are the winner. Patty, would you yeah. love to tell Bridget what she has won? You have hi, won Patty. a hi, hi. <laughs> um, you have won a two night stay at our Lowe's Atlanta hotel. Ooh, great. Hey, good because I'm in Nashville, so that's good. <laughs> oh, that, that's, a, that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. Thank you. <laughs> we um I'm, I'm so glad that we did this because I'm going to do this in a week from now and I don't want to do it now. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> so the, the, the trick is to hit the drop down that says change the call sequence or else that first game I would have called the exact same numbers. So I Luckily I caught it after two. I made, I made some service recovery, but we were, well, we were going to have to be in bad shape. The good thing is, is that like I said before, Carol's, this is Carol's family and it's like home. So it's like being with all my brothers and sisters. And like, if I mess up, they don't care. They just make fun of me, right? <laughs> They're happy little guinea pigs. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> Yay. I hope you bring brother Aaron as your backup. When I know. You're... I, oh, I, I might have to. He backed out, but he might join me oh, well, earlier I cannot... today. But I might not. I'm like, no, I think he's going to be there. I think, I think and, maybe, yeah. Aaron, Aaron, I have to ask, just for everybody's, uh, everybody's you know, um, knowledge how easy was this to set up online did you like the whole experience um, yes. yeah thanks for asking it's actually super easy if you're not if you don't have an idiot moment um <laughs> it's a very nominal fee for a certain number of, of, of cards you send the link you can set it up by a number of cards people have access to and then i go back to that same site and just I'm clicking numbers for if it has like a random call sequencer so um, I would say, you know, fairly idiot proof, although I had some, some lapses with it today, but I'm glad to share. I'm it's glad like to share the link to that as well. For like a hundred bingo cards and like yep. for 250 bingo cards, it's like $20. Yep. So Correct. it is very inexpensive. So it's, it's definitely a fun way to get a group together and have some fun. Um, and like Aaron said, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy unless you don't know how to work shared screen and, you know, have a video playing 24 seven. But anyway, yeah, that, yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, Patty, you, you know, you said it right. The videos worked in the end and, and Carol and Whitney in the community welcome everyone like family. Yep. So you know what? Family, family makes mistakes. Family's hard yep. sometimes. It's all about relationships <laughs> and memories. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I've had several hoteliers call me right before it's their week and they're all nervous. And I'm just like, please people just go to the recordings, watch the first 10 minutes to for two or three sessions and you will not be nervous. <laughs> I, for one, I don't know what I think is forcing me to make a cocktail at 3.30, but I feel like I have to have, you know, a cocktail and I hope y'all are doing the same thing because, you know, you just roll with the punches that way. <laughs> so I want to thank um, both of you, pa uh, Patty and Aaron, for a really informative session. Uh, you had a lot of information to embark, uh, to impart on us. Thank you so much to your hotel sellers, your partners from around the country. We're grateful that you guys are here. Uh, we saw a definite uptick in enrollment this week based on the relationships that you all have that we Aww. didn't have developed, hadn't helped develop before. Uh, and so we want to invite all those folks who came because of Patty and Aaron to please come back next week. Uh, next week is going to be a super fun one. I know this is a subject that I think many of us are curious about. 
Ritz Carlton is going into the yachting business, into the cruise business, but we like to say it's yachting, not cruising. And so Andrea Breens from the Ritz Carlton Yacht Company is coming to talk to us about what we have in store in 2021 when their first luxury yacht launches in the Caribbean and the Mediterranean. That's next week. We're going to be yachting together. I know Whitney will think of some very clever ways in which you can get ready for that experience, but um, this is a very a brand new product and I know we're all curious. So I hope that you'll come back and enjoy that with us next Wednesday. Whitney? Yes, and let me just say, just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving anything away, but get out your best. Get out the best costumes for next week. And I let's like have a fun. love boat. What do you think about love boat too? I mean, there's a, there's a thing. The love boat. Yes, yes. Uh, we're going to pull out all of the the TV references to large uh, watercraft, and so <laughs> I uh, just so. <laughs> that's right. Just just be ready. Get your captain's hats out and get your uh, flotation devices under your seats, and we will be ready for next week. And um, again. Thank you all so much. Uh, I will uh, we'll get those emails to Aaron and Patty, and they will be emailing you uh, those reference sheets and um, information that they referenced here on, on the call today. And we just appreciate it. You guys go have a great Wednesday, and we will see you next week. And thanks. Great. Thank, thank you, guys. Can we just thank blow you. some kisses thanks, to guys. Pastor for her five Bye. pair of reading sunglasses. Thanks, yes. guys. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Bye, y'all. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye guys. Thank Bye. you.